So we, for the past few years, we've been doing a lot of work on utilizing blockchain technology in order to uh, help create liquidity in these illiquid assets. Because if I was at back at the, the pension fund and you, and you said, Larry, you can rebalance your portfolio any day of the week, that's a game changer. Um, you know, so um, so that brings into the concept of tokenization, and I'll, I'll geek out for a few minutes here because that kind of sets the stage for uh, for what some of the other speakers will be speaking about as well. But you know, tokenization really means uh, you know recording the ownership of an asset, i.e., an investment fund, perhaps um, on a on a um, immutable ledger. Okay, so it's a fancy word for a database that cannot be altered. Um, now, what's interesting is that, and so we, you know, we're a, a prolific in, um, issuer of investment funds of various types, um, but these are securities. Okay, unlike a like a, a cryptocurrency, okay, which isn't a security, you can go trade that all you want to whoever you want. And, um, but when you're talking about securities, it's a much different and more complicated, uh, you know, ball game. I think, uh, I so, think that we, as I mentioned before, all of the, the collectors that we work with really do think about investments in art as a, a viable alternate asset class. Uh, and something you mentioned before, Mark, when you're talking about equities and so on, is diversification is key. Same thing in the art market. If you want to invest in art in a really successful way, one way to mitigate risk is to diversify the types of artworks you include in your portfolio. Um, in terms of how you construct the portfolio, we feel strongly that it should be a mix between, if you're investing in modern and contemporary art, it should be a mix between blue chip art, mid-career artists, and emerging artists. And that way you are mitigating that risk because there are different uh, potential returns for each category.